Hey guys, this is uh, Quad Nines back with my Cedrus EDH deck version 2.0. I've uh, changed a few cards around. This is the land base. I've already done the artifacts and planeswalkers. Next, I'll be doing either creatures or instants of sorcery. I haven't decided. But uh, onto the lands. Got two dual lands in uh, the Shockland Watery Grave from Ravnica Block and a revised Badlands. The, uh, the only ones I have right now, if I ever do get an underground suit, will go in here, but the budget's not there right now, so we'll just have to wait. These do pretty well for right now, though. have uh, two legendary black lands. Got, the, of course, the Orb Orb, Tomb of Yawgmoth, makes everything a swamp, including uh, my opponent's lands, which gives me swamp lock for the creatures that have it. It's pretty good. Also, uh, the Death Storehouse does kind of the same thing. You can give fear to a legendary creature, usually your general. Uh, so if they don't have a black or artifact creature, you can get in there for that lethal uh, uh, tron, um, Voltron damage. Here's some uh, strip mine, wasteland, good land destruction. Got the little bit of ramp with the ancient tomb and the uh, Osiju, which makes your instance of sorceries uncounterable. Uh, it does cost two life, but it's usually well worth it to get your spell through. More land destruction with the tech edge and a mystifying maze, which is uh, good if they're trying to get you with general damage. Also, if one of your opponents has one, uh, in my deck it's not that bad because if they bounce one of my creatures, they have come into play effects. So, you know, you can bounce my uh, Rune Scarred Demon or Sphinx of Athun as many times as you want to. I don't care. So if you have one of these, be sure to uh, watch out for that value and try not to let them have it. But uh, if you have to, you have to, and it can save the game for you. Got two of the Innistrad block. Uh, Do Something Lands, the Lighthouse, is a very good discard outlet for my deck. Putting uh, the fatties in the graveyard so I can bring them back, with uh, whether it be my general unearthing them or using actual like reanimate. But uh, that and the drown yard also does kind of the same thing. I usually target myself to put uh, three cards in the graveyard, give me a little bit of fuel for a big turn or just something to flash back. These are the three lands that tap for all three of my colors. Um, of course, command tower is always good, and as long as you're playing ADH, that is. Uh, Rupture Spire and Necropolis coming to play tapped, but uh, really no other drawback than that. Uh, getting the mana fixing is a, a big help. Uh, these are more fixing with the, uh, the Scalding Tarn to go get usually the Badlands or the Water Grave unless they're already in play. Uh, the Grixis Panorama, of course, fetches a basic. And Tolera West can transmute for any of my lands. Uh, Ancestral Visions, I think I've got one or two other cards that have zero casting cost in here. Oh, or you can just play it and it taps for blue, so it's always a good card to draw. Uh, red black lands, I've got the uh, the Bounce Land, the Carnarium, the Dragon's Call Summit, and the Man Land, the Lava Claw Reaches, which is one of the weaker Man Lands, but uh, you know, you take it when you can get it, and sometimes that uh, extra two or three damage will win you the game. Blue black, uh, I've got the Dark Flick Shores, which I don't like because you know it does come into play tapped, but I needed more blue black fixing, and it, t it tends to help out. It doesn't hurt me too often. I've got the, uh, the Man Land and the Tar Pit, which being unblockable is. It's really good unless they can find someone to target it. But, um, just having a little bit of extra utility is always good in a, in a land. Get the Drowned Catacomb. You know, onto the uh, other ones. I've got the fourth one in the Aqueduct, the Bounce Land. Got only two of the red blues. I do have a Steam Vent that's in my cube right now. I'm still building it, and I just I guess I could switch it out if I needed to. But uh, there's only two I'm running right now. They both fix my mana pretty well. I, don't have as many red spells, so red isn't as big a concern. On to my basics. I have only eight. And you know, if you're only gonna run three islands, why not run the three best islands? That's the uh, the beta island A and Island B, and of course the uh, John Avon uh, full art unhinged one. Uh, the mountains, I have three different Zendikar mountains. I, I would like the uh, the unhinged ones. Uh, the beta ones I'm not too worried about, but uh, if I was to get those, that'd be okay too. And just two uh, the Zendikar Swamps. I think altogether I'm running 35 lands. Maybe off on that. I do change it from day to day, but pretty sure it's 35. If you have any comments about these, uh, please let me know any suggestions. Uh, like I said, if you get a chance, um, watch out for the next two parts. Actually, they should be going up uh, probably in the next few days. But uh, if you haven't seen the Artifact and Planeswalker one, it should be the video just before this one. And uh, like always, like I said, leave comments uh, if you can, like, favorite, and subscribe. Thanks.